The Bracco Italiano dates back as early as the 4th century when they could be seen in various paintings and the pieces of Italian artwork. Light on their feet and extremely agile, these purebred dogs were actually designed to hunt. Today, they're also gaining notice as sweet and affectionate family companions. The Bracco is all suited for all households, from single individuals to large families with children. They're also very energetic and will surely keep you on your toes. Many people think that the Bracco Italiano looks like a cross between the Bloodhound and a German Shorthaired Pointer, but you know what? They are actually a breed on their own. So are you wondering whether this breed is right for your family, or are you just curious about them overall? Well, we have put together a list of top 10 interesting facts about the Bracco Italiano to help answer all of your questions. So without further ado, let's start the video. But before we get started, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Bracco Italiano owners on this video. The video would seriously not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check out these incredible dogs from the Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their History Many believe the Bracco Italiano has ancestry that dates back to the 4th and 5th centuries when dogs resembling them were seen in some Italian paintings and artwork. But it is kind of difficult to trace back the exact lineage of the breed this far. It's speculated that the orange and white Bracco Italiano originated in Piedmont and the brown and the roan Bracco may have originated from Lombardy. The orange and white variety was used to hunt in mountainous terrains and were built lighter so they could easily move through such rough terrain with ease. The brown and the roan variety on the other hand were heavier boned and worked mainly in the marshy lowlands. These guys became very popular hunting dogs for noble families such as Gonzaga and Medici. They were also used to drive games into nets and to flush prey for falconers. But once firearms were introduced to hunting, the Bracco Italiano was used to point and retrieve game. Unfortunately, the entire breed faced a huge decline in popularity by the early 20th century. It was actually an Italian breeder Paolo Cicceri who played a great role in reviving the breed along with the Societa Amatori Bracco Italiano. The two varieties, orange and white, and brown and roan were also crossbred later to increase their genetic diversity. An official breed standard was adopted in 1949, and in 1956, the Federation Sinologic International officially accepted the breed. The United Kennel Club recognized the Bracco Italiano in 2006, and in 2007, the Bracco Italiano Club of America was formed, and finally in 2010, these dogs were approved to compete in American Kennel Club performance and companion events. Number 2. Their Physical Characteristics the Bracco Italiano is a large dog with a robust and powerful appearance. Their height ranges from 22 to 26 inches and they weigh between 55 and 80 pounds. The breed's hair is short and shiny and the fur in their head and ears, as well as on the front of the legs and feet, tends to be finer than the rest of their body. Their coat is either white, white and orange, or white and chestnut in color, and some also have roan markings. These dogs have a distinctly shaped head, which must be round and shaped like a dome. Their long ears reach the tip of the nose without stretching, and their jowls are also well developed. The eyes are relatively large, oval-shaped, and close-fitting. They range in color from dark amber to orange or brown, depending on the color of the coat. Number 3. Their Temperament and Intelligence Bracco Italianos are strong, agile, and focused dogs that enjoy nothing more than bringing down prey, especially birds. With their family, they are affectionate dogs that love attention and look forward to every moment that they get to spend with their humans. It's safe to say that inside the house, Bracco Italianos tend to be calm and cuddly. However, when they get outdoors, they expect to stress their legs and get plenty of exercise. They'll also alert their owners when things seem to be off on the property, but they're not big barkers and so they do not make efficient guard dogs for families. Overall, these are active dogs that enjoy a life full of outdoor activities just as much as they do take pleasure in snuggly, indoor bonding sessions. Number 4. They get along well with children with a spunk and a happy-go-lucky attitude, the Bracco Italiano gets along excellently with children and will become their lifetime playmate. These dogs are protective over babies and toddlers, and they always seem to be gentle around kids. They also enjoy spending time with children of older age. The breed is not suitable for seniors, though, because they have plenty of energy and need a lot of exercise every day. However, families and children who are active and committed to daily walks and regular outings can have a wonderful time with this breed around. Number 5. Their Adaptability with Other Pets Bracco Italianos do get along well with other dogs if they start socializing while they're still puppies. They can also get along well with household cats, but they must be taught to do so from an early age and they should never be left unsupervised with a cat when indoors or out. Due to their high prey drive, these dogs should also not be exposed to rabbits, hamsters, ferrets, or other small pets. Some Bracco Italianos have been known to be docile by nature and they can happily live alongside with other animals. But this is not the general case for the breed. If you have other pets, make sure your Bracco is accustomed to them from puppyhood. Number 6. Training them is relatively easy. Bracco Italianos are intelligent and they love to please, which make them great for training. These dogs are quick to understand what is being asked of them. Their willing character means that they are usually quick to learn recall and so house training is not usually a problem. 
However, the breed's origins must not be forgotten. Bracco Italianos can be prone to picking up scents and being tempted to follow the trail if not properly trained. You gotta start with obedience training while your Bracco is still a puppy to ensure that they know how to behave in social settings. Obedience training should be practiced regularly throughout your dog's life to enforce the skills that they have learned. Other types of training that the breed excels in include agility, hunting, herding, and show dog training. Number 7. They are highly energetic. Typical of hunting breeds, Bracco Italianos tend to have plenty of energy and require a lot of daily activity. Without enough exercise, these dogs may turn to destructive behaviors. These are country dogs at heart, and they enjoy long walks and runs in the countryside. They also love to swim, so a dip in a river or lake may be another fun activity to explore with your Bracco. This high-energy breed also needs plenty of mental stimulation. Events such as rally or competitive obedience training can allow them to work out both their bodies and their minds. If nothing else, any activity that allows your Bracco to spend time with their family is a bonus because they hold a strong desire for human companionship. Number 8. They have low grooming needs. The Bracco Italiano's grooming needs are minimal. Their coat should be combed or brushed at least twice a week as this will get rid of dead hair and dirt. Their large ears should also be regularly cleaned with a cloth or a cotton ball since their size makes it easy for dirt to hide within the folds of their skin. You also gotta know that any areas where the skin is folded can prevent air from reaching the skin, which make them susceptible to skin problems like infection and irritation. These areas should be checked regularly and kept clean. Bracco Italianos can also be droolers, although they don't drool like a Mastiff or a St. Bernard. But just to be safe, you could keep a hand towel nearby to wipe your dog's mouth, especially after they eat or drink. The rest is just basic care. You gotta trim their nails every week or two and brush their teeth daily with a better fruit pet toothpaste for their good overall health and fresh breath. Number 9. Their Common Health Problems The Bracco Italiano is a relatively healthy breed. However, like most purebred dogs, they have a few known health issues. This includes entropion and atropion, cataracts, hip and elbow dysplasia, and kidney diseases. To avoid genetic health problems, make sure you get your Bracco from a reputable breeder. Reputable breeders test their adult Bracco Italiano for certain health issues before breeding them to avoid passing on these problems. But when buying a Bracco puppy from a breeder, make sure to ask them about the results of these tests and the parents of the litter. Bracco Italianos also tend to become overweight or obese. Although they are highly active, they are also big dogs that eat a lot. This is why you gotta make sure that you stick to a regular feeding schedule and don't leave food out during the day. You can also limit the number of treats if needed. Number 10. They are rare outside of Italy. Despite their ancient origins, it wasn't until 1994 that the breed was brought to the United States. It can be hard to find a breeder in the US, even today. And even if you do find one, they tend to be pretty expensive. The average price of Bracco Italiano puppies is somewhere between $1,200 and $2,500 depending on where they are bred, who bred them, their lineage, and their overall health condition. But fanciers of this breed agree that these dogs are well worth the price. If you don't find a breeder, you can always check with your local shelter or you may want to try a rescue that caters to all types of dogs. Alright folks, with that we've come to the end of our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Bracco Italiano. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you already have any experience with one of these affectionate pups, let us know about it in the comments below. Please leave a video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends and family as well. For more interesting facts on different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.